set it. Yep. Okay. Because I'm going to set it right here. So generally speaking, the, uh, the weight of the robots that we're going to be building, uh, just because they have to fit on our lander, on the order of 200 pounds. So the robot that we tested was about 250 pounds, so it made sense to test that one, just because we can get it up and running and had a really uh, easy way to interface with it. The principle of gravity offload is that you want to have a robot that's driving on Earth here, but it's experiencing gravity of some other planet. Uh, let's say the Mars or something like the Moon. For us, it's the Moon. That's what's interesting. So on the Moon, it's one search gravity. So what we have is a robot that's driving, and we're lifting it right in the middle of its center of gravity, five, six of its weight, so that uh, it experiences the weight of being one six. Uh, when a robot will go up or down an obstacle, it would uh, either tighten that cable even more so, increase the tension, or it would give it slack. The offloader is looking every uh, a few hundred times a second, and it's updating the tension in that so that it, it keeps that 105 pound force. So we are contracted by NASA to develop scalable gravity offload, which means that uh, sort of a one-size-fits-all. Uh, before, you might have had to build a special uh, testing setup just to test the deployment of a solar cell, or maybe the movement of a robot just uh, along a straight line. Uh, what we aim to do is to build an offloader that within a, a working area of five meters by five meters, you could have a robot do anything it wants and it'll always be in that reduced gravity environment.